Peace, what it do? I just um want to put my uh, prediction for a fight on record. Just because um, it's important to black folks. Uh, it's like a black Super Bowl. Like this fight between Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence, like a black Super Bowl. And me, I don't um I don't just look at I can't look at nothing for what it is no more. Like I'm always trying to look at a bigger picture, if you will. And this fight, number one, box the reason why I be following boxing so heavy it's because I love boxing, I, I honestly. But the dynamics in boxing, it's a microcosm of the macrocosm of life. The dynamics mirror the things that go on in society. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a lot of, the easiest way to understand is a lot of racism comes up in boxing, like quickly. You know what I'm saying? And you know that that be in the back of a lot of people's minds when you're dealing with them just on a normal. You understand know what I'm saying? But in boxing, because it's combat sports, you know, and it's me versus you type of a thing, when different races get, in, get involved, racism comes out. You see what I'm saying? But, uh, or prejudice, I should say, because it ain't always racism. But anyway, uh, but for this fight, two black people, two black fighters, in their primes, a little bit past their primes, but pretty much at the heights of their careers, going at it, and it's like black people, like all over. You know what I'm saying? Like, like okay, like example, the, the Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia fight was not too long ago. It's like the biggest fight in recent history. Um, I didn't have as many people just at my job talking about that fight, like they are about this fight. And this one cat at my job is actually leaving. He was getting off work last night. He going to face to the fight. So I'm like, this is a big ass fight. And it's kind of, it's going to be very telling. You understand what I'm saying? Because I got a premise and I'm, and that's why I'm doing this video because I'm, you know, I want to say it before it happens, see, just to see what happens. But, um, it, okay, two things. Number one is like a boxing prediction. And number two is like what I think it means um, on, on, on a certain level. Okay, so number one is the boxing. And it's just simple. I just think Earl is better uh, without trying to break down boxing because I, I ain't that guy. But um, ultimately, I feel like it's going to go like this. I think it's going to be like Haglin Hearns. I've been saying this I got, <laughs> before I did this video. I wanted to go, I looked on Twitter and I found like an old post I did like a year and a half ago talking about this. Cause I kind of want to show that I ain't just kind of jumping on a bandwagon cause other people are saying this now that the fight getting closer. But basically it's going to be like a war, like Haglin Hearns. And I said, but uh, Terrence Crawford going to fall probably like the fourth, third or fourth round, like early. You know what I'm saying? Cause I think he's just going, I think Earl going to catch him and then he going to try to get his, try to get his get back and he probably going to get his get back. But Earl just ain't that you ain't gonna just hit him and he gonna go away type. So when he get his get back, you know what I'm saying? Earl gonna get his get back and it's gonna be back and forth. And I don't think Buzz Chin gonna hold up to that. Uh Terrence Crawford's Chin, I don't think he's gonna hold up to that. You know, he got rocked by smaller people, Gamboa, and he got rocked by people that's not as good as Earl Cavalaskis. So I know that triangle theories don't work in boxing, but at the same time, you know, what you can withstand is what you can withstand. And if you can't withstand a punch from Gamboa, a clean punch from Gamboa, I don't think you're going to be able to stand too many clean punches from Earl Spence. Just that simple. And I think just his nature is going to force the fight. And then he's going to fall. Just my opinion. And that's just on the boxing thing. Now, one thing I think is very, that I think is very um, interesting is the, is the nicknames of the fighters. Are okay. And I'll go into this for it's 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 a re it's a reason for what I'm saying. Okay, one nigga, one fighter's new name is Bud Terrence Bud Crawford, like Bud, like your buddy, like your Bud Bud and Pal. And then Earl Spence uh, is the truth. Everybody who know boxing knows this. But for people who may be watching this video just because they be on my 
because they know I be on my metaphysical shit. But this is what I'm talking about. Like Terrence Crawford was with ESPN. Now anybody who know ESPN is owned by Disney. And we now know Disney is a propaganda tool. You know what I'm saying? Right? We all know that. So you got a lot of people picking Terrence Crawford because he has like a lot of public accolades. And he has done things in the past in other weight classes that's given him, you know, uh, championships. He was undisputed. But my thing is, and let me just kind of sum this up so I don't just keep going forever. Essentially, I think he a hype job. Not in the sense that he's not good, but in the sense that he's not Floyd Mayweather good. You know, it's levels. You know what I'm saying? I, I would say Floyd Mayweather A+. Plus. You know, Earl Spence is probably an A. You know what I mean? Terrence Crawford's probably an A minus or B plus. You see what I'm saying? But the hype the hype machine of Disney and ESPN promoted him to be like an A plus. You feel me? And that's why a lot of people picking both is this fight is 50-50. My thing, I believe that people are brainwashed by ESPN's marketing of Terrence Bud Crawford. And I believe that Earl Spence being the truth, that's his nickname will display the truth that he's a a better boxer. Right? So I think it's I thought it was interesting that the dude's nickname is the truth. And then you got this other dude whose nickname is, is Bud. And it's like the media portrays itself to be our buddies, our friends, right? Giving us news, keeping us entertained as a, as people. But, it, but the truth of the matter is entertainment means mind control. All right. So it's like the bud, the buddies versus the truth. And I believe the truth is going to shine in this fight and it's going to be indicative of society changing and trying to lean more towards the truth because society is basically getting out of hand. I, I ain't even going to speak on just the outrageousness of the world. And that's kind of another reason why I've been focusing a lot on boxing because when you just look at society, you like, our president's a fucking idiot. You know, our, our, our people don't know what they want to be. You know, you can't even call, a, you, know, you you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you, you call a person they, like, uh, how the fuck, like, that is, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, Somebody saying I identify as they, them, or some shit. Like, what are you supposed to say to some type of person? Like, in, in real life. Like, what what, 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 what the fuck are you talking about? Like, stop it. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway. So, I think that... I think... I don't think this fight going to go long. Everybody, like, it's going to be a 12-round majority decision for one or the other decision. I don't think so. I kind of think Bug going to watch... I mean, I think I kind of... Ooh, I said that. Damn, I shouldn't have said that. I kind of think Earl going to watch him. Because I just think he's going to watch him. I just think he's better. He's younger. I think he's better. He's bigger. He's stronger. He's faster. And that's the truth of the matter. And that matters. <laughs> but but the, the mainstream media will have you believe that none of that is important. And that this guy is that good. You see what I'm saying? So I just kind of, I'm hoping because I do live in Dallas, Texas, for those who don't know. So, of course, I'm on Earl Spence. Uh side of this you know i want him to win but at the same time i think it's i think it's sh it it says something about society you see what i'm saying and so you know whatever i just want to throw it on the record put a video out i you know i like i didn't explain to people i got i got two new babies i got two babies under two so it's hard to do videos i'm sitting in my hot ass car right now so anyway peace and love i hope i can do more at some point peace